I don't know where Claude went, but um, I want to big up Claude Sinclair uh, again because he's the one that brought me here. And Claude is a simple, humble, ordinary uh, Jamaican, but he his life was transformed by Garvey's. And when he went to the United States, he learned more about Garvey than he learned in Jamaica. And learning about Garvey in, in, in America, it transformed his life. And now I'm going to let him tell you, okay? Uh, tell him that, because then he's responsible for bringing me here. And then the government has piggybacked on that. The government didn't bring me here. Of course, in favor of the Garvey's in action. That's the point I'm trying to make. Uh, first of all, a very pleasant good afternoon to everyone. Uh, Miss Amina Blackwood, of course, I see you. I recognize your face. Okay. Anyway, my name is Claude Sinclair. Um, I was born in the parish of St. Anne, the same parish as my hero, the right honorable Marcus and Zaya Garvey. I grew up poor. I went to school barefooted. But guess what? I never scored school, never stayed away from school always try to learn my lesson and do it well. Anything that I do, I do it exceptionally well. I was a Cub Scout. I was a member of the Boys Brigade. I was a member of the Montego Bay Boys Club. I was a member of the Jamaica Defense Force. And also I was a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. I spent five years in the Jamaica Constabulary Force. In 1980, I got a scholarship to Brooklyn Conservatory of Music because I'm a master trumpeter and I played the guitar. Now in 1980, when I went to the United States of America, I already knew that our first national hero was that, our first national hero, and nothing else. So I started to research myself, because suddenly I found out that I was black in 1980. <laughs> really, because you know when you go to school, and you look at, you know, somebody who's of Indian descent, you really don't see an Indian as sick. I don't see, I'm not a prejudiced person. I see people for people. I don't judge somebody by what he looks like, but the contents of that person's character, because that makes you who you are. Anyway, I started to read up more about my blackness. I started reading about Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Joe McKenyatta, Kwame Ture, or Stokely Michael. Queen Mother Moore, Nelson Mandela, Body Seals of the Black Panther, Malcolm X, and the list goes on and on and on. But what really startled me was the fact that all these people, Julius Nairi, all these people that I named, were all inspired by one man, and that is the Right Honorable Marcus Messiah Carvey. So, I spent 20 something years studying myself extensively. And with the knowledge that I was armed with, I said, I'm not gonna stay in the United States. No, I'm married. I have a wife and I have three children. My daughter is 30 years old. And my twin boys are 22 years old. I said, I'm gonna take them from this land because in America, no matter how much money you have as a black man, doesn't mean anything. It's still a third class citizen.